Hello everyone, my name's Jay Beetle. This is a game called Genetic Disaster. Now I want to tell you, I really want you to like this game. I really want to like this game. Modi and I tried to play it, but before this previous update, which at this point has been two weeks ago, it didn't even have an options menu. And I don't want to start off on a bad foot, because I really like these types of game. It seems like it's trying to mimic, uh, Gungeon. And I cannot complain about that. But there were just some game-breaking bugs. For instance, we would pick our people, and then we would go and 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 enter. And these air like these arrows are just there's all these sort of tiny things. Also, it seems like he lo they locked all but this character. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, there's there's maybe four or five characters at this point. And. What would happen is we would we would start and then I would be stuck at this the, a black screen I'd not be able to get in and I'd have to restart the whole game. Anyway, on its base the art style is really good and it is pretty simple at the beginning, but um, you there are dozens of different guns. You just walk around. It's a it's a sort of a brawler. Like I said, very much like Gungeon, very much like Binding of Isaac. There are just a few things that I have problems with. That I mean, there there might be more than that, but for now, I'm playing this with a control or not with a controller, or a keyboard and mouse, and there's no cursor, so you can kind of see which direction you're going, but you can't uh, do anything about it. So I think I might switch to a keyboard or God, I'm, I'm being dyslexic, being going to a controller and seeing if I can do that, but. Hey, once you've picked one, you can't. So you're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to stick with keyboard. Anyway, we got two different guns. These aren't always the same two, but uh, we'll just pick the first one that comes up. And like I said, it starts off really slow to begin with. I, I always felt like in the original um, Gungeon, even when it started off slow, there was a sense of danger and a sense of you really needing to get get out. Uh, without getting hit once and there was also a benefit from never getting hit. I'm not sure about this one But oh, there's a cursor now. Okay, cool. So I take back what I said about that. I'm not gonna I, I really don't nit nitpick games. I'm not that type of person. I'm not really a reviewer. I enjoy most games that I come across and if I were to review them on Steam I would probably mostly give them positives. This is like my first negative review on Steam, and you might say, well, why are you showing it to us? Well, this is after the patch, like I said, and I really did want to enjoy it. And I said, hey, if you fix a couple of these things that I was talking about, then then I'll give it another try, and I'll change it if I decide that it's better. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. I don't, do, I swear, it doesn't take me, me much. If I ever get to be this big YouTuber, people are going to sign me up so much for their, to, to show off their games because I'm just so easy to please. So, um, each character has a different special, and that's activated by, I think, using shift. Yeah, in this case, I, I leave this little electricity bulb behind. I'm just a fish, fish in a fish tank. Yeah, it stuns them. So that can be kind of good. Other tweaks to the last update were a lot of quality of life. They are low on funds, I believe. So they're just one of those really super small indie dev games. They didn't have a very good launch. Um, I think they were trying, and this is just me talking, but I think they were trying to beat the rush of Christmas. They're trying to get on everyone's wish list, and they released the game out of early access way before they should have. And that is just my opinion. But they sent me the game, and that is full disclosure. It is a it is free to me. I think it's like fifteen bucks or, or ten bucks normally. But it has the same sort of weapons drop system as uh, Gungeon, except guns seem to drop more frequently, and there probably are less of them because it's a small budget. But I mean, if you just look at it, it it, it seems pretty nice. I don't... Oh, that was a boss. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It is very similar. That was a boss. And I would show off the different characters, but I don't know how to unlock them now, because they were all unlocked before. Um, this guy seems pretty fun, though. Yeah, so you just have your main attack, and I don't think any of them have secondaries, but they might. And, of course, you can switch... 
where let me see, I, I need a bigger map there we go okay this one's just straightforward this isn't even a it's not even a maze it's a the most linear level ever but the, okay so just to be just to be secure in my thoughts and to get anyone who might be interested to play this game to play this game it is online co-op it is i think couch co-op too those usually if you have online you have the other one because the other one's easier uh, but it, other than some of the bugs, it plays really well together. You can revive each other by, you know, standing near each other long enough. It, I love that. I, I wish so many more games were co-op that were, that, that aren't. Chance to heal by, alright, so then it's a, it's a store. Um, Bloodsucker, chance to kill enemies. I'm not taking much damage. Gives another heart and faster reloading. I'm gonna take this one. Alright. And for now, I will just do my duty. I've, this is just another game in my constant search to try to find the next Rampage Knights for me and Modi. This one I might play if I can get if I can convince him. Please let me know if you want him to, to join me for a couple of rounds. He wasn't too keen on the idea because, uh, well, it was a pain in the ass to play the multiplayer. There was one where I, I just wasn't able to attack anymore. My guns just didn't shoot. So they're pretty big. They're pretty annoying. But, you know, they might have been fixed. I have not played since the patch. But I, I don't know. I think they could improve on the pacing. They are very nice and understanding, the devs. Uh, they're just saying, like, hey, we, we don't... We can't do many updates right now. I'm sorry. That's, just, that's a shame. Because I'm just thinking on a on a me basis. I don't know how big their team is, but if I had a game that I had made by myself, um, I probably wouldn't be in the position to work on it full-time. So I'd have my full-time job like I do now, of course, which is not YouTube at all by a long shot. And I probably would still try to get those updates off in hopes that I build my, the reputation of my, of my team, of my developer crew. Because people will remember that if you make a big enough splash. I mean, whoever did the animation and 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 the art, I love it. It's, it all looks hand-painted, hand-drawn at least. I just love it. And the music, you can't hear as well, but it's also nice. It's very similar to, to Binding of Isaac, in my opinion. Okay, what do we got here? Our first door slot machine so I can pull either of these for free and then it starts getting more expensive the more I do it and see that's what I that one's free but then I have to pay to actually use that and I don't have enough so we'll do this see if this one's cheaper it is not so I got absolutely nothing out of that that's okay though and I still don't have enough I also don't know if shooting these... Yeah, I, I don't know. Once you get past the basic gun, of course it costs ammo. Um, I'm not sure how to change weapons at this point. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm changing like... Oh, okay, it is, it is changing it. That's weird. That is a pretty terrible weapon. I, one thing I do like is the cursor. Depending on the weapon, it changes, and it spreads if it if it is a spread weapon. The cursor splits in two if it's if a dual shot weapon. So that's that's a really nice touch. But yeah, there's different cursors for every single weapon. Nope. Let's see a boss though. I mean, for all I know, the game ends like it might be that unfinished. And I don't want to say negative things about it that aren't true. So let's see if we can get through it. I think changing it to this middle click is is the uh, change weapon button. I think that's silly. Oops. Middle mouse wheel would make more sense. See, it spreads the, more, the longer I hold it down. I just think that's cool. Whoa. Yeah, there we go.
Oh, I got hit for the first time, I think. I need some some explosives. Now it's getting good. Alright. Raphael. Oh, wait. No, I want to change that. There we go. Get rid of that. What does this do? Ooh. And do I, can I go anywhere else? It doesn't show. That's another thing. What's the point of the map if it just increases the area that you're able to move in? I can already see that. Yeah, these, these floors are really short, too. I always love superlatives at the end of the match. I wish more games had that. A, if I ever make a game, I'm going to have superlatives. If I ever make a, a multiplayer game. Okay, so these are a little bit more expensive, but they're still really good. Reduce the cooldown of power by 20%. Increase. Oh, got to do movement speed. That's always a good one. Okay, so we're done with that. Also, a, th a thing that I think this game needs is a hub. Kind of like, again, in Gungeon, just the main area that you can have all your characters. Simple games like this need... Uh, a reason to restart and I don't know if they made that the case with locking uh, the characters maybe they did but man that other game has so that game that I won't mention anymore has so much replay value without playing without playing this all the way through I don't know if it's the same with this but I would guess that it is not the same whoa And then, also, there's breakables, but there's no, as far as I know, th there's no melee button. Oh, F is also changed. That's way better. Sorry, that's another thing. That's just me not playing correctly. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... Yeah, nope. Yeah, you can break things, but it doesn't provide any benefit. I think they should have a chance to drop it. Oh, God! Dropping something. Because that's what breakables do, you know? This weapon might end up being overpowered. Hello? There we go. Ooh, it's a store. I don't have enough. I'm not going to buy 12 armor. Sorry. Oh, the icicle stayed for some reason. All right, let's get out of here. I also want to mention another game similar to this in Gungeon that doesn't get enough doesn't get enough uh, views or publicity. And it's a, it's a kind of an old game. It's called Our Darker Purpose. I might have played it on the stream. That's how long ago it was. I don't remember. But it was a fun... Binding, Binding of Isaac clone, where you're just this student in a school, and you have to go up the, the different floors of the school, and everyone's trying to kill you, and has a lot of replay value, has a level up system between rounds, between levels. I, I don't, I don't think this one does again. This seems like a fun little couch co-op game. That so far so good. I haven't had the problems that I had before. It was not. Ooh, can I pick that up? Oh, I can. That is awesome. And I can carry it to the next area. Yeah, there we go. I knew that would be good. Boop. There you go. Whoop. I think ammo might need tweaking. I'm never going to run out of ammo with this thing. I'm max ammo now. Oh, right. This is part of the weapon. That this just slams on things. That's kind of annoying, actually. I don't see it ever hitting anything. Rifle Eagle. Ooh. Oh, man. All right, I'll take that. You can. It's another game where you can only have two at a time, but balances as balance does. Okay, that was the boss. That's kind of weird that the boss was over there. Ooh, I see ammo. Okay, never mind. 
Maybe I should have kept the frost one. This one doesn't have any effect. Yeah, there we go. You're over here. I, I honestly hope that they see this and they are motivated to continue. Uh, I don't. I just don't think they have the the bodies and the wow the uh, not production but uh, promotion capability. Because I think all they did. Well, you know, I'm not gonna. Never mind. I'm not gonna speak for them. I just didn't hear about this game until well after it was released. And we and Modi and I follow these kind of things pretty closely. Another gun, shotgun, heavy shotgun. Okay. I can't tell what the price is for that. I kind of. I guess I don't want it. I want to make sure I can get all the rest of these. This is weird. That's all that was. What is special about this weapon? Oh, maybe it's energy? Maybe the, that was what that's used for? Oh, I can't pick up any of these. I think more pick upables should be. That is weak. I need to get rid of this one. I don't see the, the upside. I don't know what this thing is. I think it's health related. Fire bow? I'll take it. What do I have to lose, really? If they catch on fire, that's that's another thing that I have not experienced yet. I also don't think they are um, native English speakers. Because their um, their updates are are kind of um, broken English, but whatever. Why did I do that? Oh, because it can break. Can't it? Oh, come on! It broke though. So I can't buy it at all. I, I, I like the other idea. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's charged. Okay, I like this weapon. A lot of those seem the same. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can catch on fire. Great. I have to wait now. Hi. Okay, the fire is is sort of its own annoying. But I always like charge weapons. One day, I'll make a game like this. The art might not be as nice because really again the art's pretty nice okay so I can just pop them ooh that was kind of big finally a boss all right Okay, I, I did that. What else do I do? Okay, I am actually hurting him. He is dying of fire. What do these break? I guess just to get away? Wow, this is actually hard to hit. Jeez. Alright, I'm slowly whittling him down. I don't know if I'm doing this right. But, it's, it's gonna do it eventually. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you're not gonna hurt me. 
Oh, do I really have to get through those small little... Okay, now I can just get here until it... Yeah, I actually have to go through these holes. I think. Still not sure. Either way, I'm getting him. This is so long. Let's try the other weapon. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. I gotta be. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll just cheese him. I don't understand this boss. I was doing it the wrong way. I still don't know what my health is. Oh, I can hit him right... Like, right as he gets small. Oh, I died. I died. I saw my health, by the way. It's the bottom left. So, so that's... That's the game. If you want to check it out, it is on Steam. Can I please get back to the main menu? There we go. It's called Genetic Disaster. I think it's the only game that this developer has made, so give them some love if you enjoy the game. You didn't see any bugs here, so they must have improved it a little bit. I wish they would have done, like, really having an options menu. It's, it's a small thing, but this wasn't in the game the last time Modi and I played. Anyway, check it out. You might like it. See you next time.